Wolf spotted alone, and she doesn't know why. Jody was utterly aware of the danger she was walking into. The wolf found itself annoyed with the humans slowly closing in on it. It was furiously trying to retreat from her, but it was held captive in the trap. She glanced over her shoulder and, just for a second, stopped to catch her breath. She was sure she had heard something behind her, perhaps the sound of stealthy footfall crunching through the snow. She watched as a large, dark shape appeared from the woods. Then another emerged from the rise. She watched the wolves as they took stock of her. Their breath steamed in the freezing as they began to creep closer. Fixation Jody, originally from Colorado, has always had a passion for wildlife, particularly canines. Jody had always dreamed of meeting a real wolf, even as a young girl. Her adoration for wolves only became stronger. Now she was finally about to make that dream a reality as an adult. The encounter, however, would not go as she anticipated. Although she believed she knew what would occur, these wolves were about to reveal their true colors. Becoming a Volunteer Jody felt nervous when she decided to volunteer at the Colorado Wolf and Wildlife Center. Although she wasn't entirely sure what to expect, she knew she wanted to meet a real wolf more than anything. At last, she had an opportunity to make her childhood dream come true while giving back to and helping these incredible animals. Her first tasks, however, were definitely not what she had anticipated. The first assignment prescribed to her was rather unpleasant. These tasks ranged from cleaning toilet tanks to chopping racks of raw meat for the animals and so forth. It was, without a doubt, not what she had expected. She was pleased to be able to help these animals. However, this is not at all what she had envisioned, and she couldn't help but wonder when she would finally get the chance to meet a real wolf. She was unaware of just how soon her meeting would occur. Predators Wolves are, by nature, pack animals. The mighty bite of a wolf delivers a complete 600 pounds per square inch. To put it into perspective, a wolf's bite is considered to be two times stronger than the bite of a German shepherd or a pit bull. In addition to having powerful jaws, the intelligence of wolves is also a well-known trait. They're not just strong predators, but also wise and able to manipulate their prey. On that fateful day, Jody was about to learn that lesson the hard way. Inside the Colorado Wolf and Wildlife Center The Colorado Wolf and Wildlife Center, where Jody volunteers, is close to the town of Divide and contains various features, including an educational amphitheater, visitor center, and walking trails. The center, situated on a 35-acre plot of land, contained tame wolves and wolf hybrids in smaller enclosures, while the others roamed the park's wilderness. These less tamed animals could only be visited under specific circumstances and with the watchful eye of a guide. This was the real goal of the center. The Ferocious Wolf The center's mission was to educate the public about wolves and refute the widespread myths about them. People have traditionally feared and shunned these animals. In other cases, snares have even been discovered inside the sanctuary's perimeter. The population of gray wolves has decreased globally as a result of the misinformation and fear. Additionally, wolves have been demonized throughout history with ideals like the big bad wolf and being labeled as ruthless, soulless killers. Jody, though, had wanted to alter that. Within the Wilderness One day, a senior staff member came up to Jody with some big news. The time had finally come. When she learned of the information, she nearly leapt with joy. She would meet a wolf after years of waiting and fantasizing about it. She was allowed to accompany the tour guide outside the gate and farther from the visitor center. He kept indicating for her to follow him. They had to exercise caution because they were unsure of the wolves' reactions to a new girl entering their territory. Nobody, however, could have predicted what she would find. A deafening silence. Jody was filled with joy as she walked. The wilderness was the only thing standing between her and the wolves. The snowy patches deadened and muffled every sound, leaving her in an eerie calm. Suddenly, she began to doubt whether this was such an intelligent plan. But it was too late to return. There was nothing to see but a trail of footprints behind her that led back to where she had come from. She quickly turned her head around and noticed it. A Wolf Within Clear View A lone wolf was lying on the ground in a protected spot. The creature had the appearance of a timber wolf. Timberwolf is one of the smaller wolf kinds. 
Yet Jody thought it was enormous. Jody started to approach it, and her guide let out a small shout of astonishment, telling her to keep back while he called for reinforcements. But she knew just what she had to do. She moved closer to the creature. Trapped. Even though the park was fully enclosed, they still received a lot of backlash from farmers who lived in the town nearby who were afraid that the wolves would escape and jeopardize their livestock. Jody knew what had happened and her blood began to boil. Someone had set the snare here on purpose. Jody could see that the trap's steel jaws had imprisoned the wolf. He'd be fine if she could free him, but she had to do so quickly. The calm before the storm. Ironically enough, even though the animal was snared, it seemed to be completely calm. It lay completely still in the grass, as though it had just stopped for a breather. However, the heavy breathing of the wolf indicated distress. Suddenly, the calm demeanor changed when Jody approached. The wolf became anxious. Jody knew she needed to help, but when she reached out, the wolf grew more treacherous. Suddenly, she heard a sound behind her. Closer Two large, dark shapes appeared from the woods, and they drew closer. Jody soon realized it was the elusive pair of gray wolves she had heard about, Kokoa and Sakara. Drawn by the howls of their pack member, the larger of the two, Kokoa, was on high alert. Jody crept toward the wolf caught in the snare as he got uneasy. His ears pricked forward in her direction as she crept closer. And then the two wolves, watching her intently, were joined by a stranger. Cornered Another wolf that Jody didn't recognize had joined the pair. Sakara, the female, was being much more cautious than the others. She stayed behind Kokoa with her gaze fixed on Jody through the trees. But Jody had no idea how to react to these beasts. There was snow everywhere, and the pair knew no one else was around. The wolves circled and grew nearer. Jody and her supervisor were being driven closer to the trapped wolf as the rest of the pack closed in. A piece of wood. Suddenly, Jody saw something that would solve all their issues. Lying in the woods was a piece of plywood. Why someone had decided to dump it there, nobody knew. But Jody couldn't have been more grateful at that moment for the spare timber. Quickly, she picked up the board. She intended to use it as a shield to approach the trapped animal. But the wolf didn't take kindly to this approach. Making a run for it. As soon as the wolf saw Jody hold up the board, he began to go nuts. For some reason, the animal viewed the object as a real threat. Still, Jody attempted to approach. Her guide stood close by, gun at the ready. But this just distressed the animal further. It had no idea what Jody's intentions were, and neither did the rest of its pack, who were still closing in on them. The wolf breaks free. As Jody approached the animal, she took long pauses between moves, until she was close enough to touch the wolf's trapped foot. She placed the board between herself and the wolf. On doing this, the wolf desperately tried to back up. Scared the animal would hurt himself, Jody stopped in her tracks. Slowly, the wolf became more at ease. Then Jody did something remarkable. She leaned forward and applied enough pressure to the trap to release the wolf's foot. He leapt up and ran off into the trees. But the rest of the pack didn't follow him. Massive. Kakoa, one of the other wolves who had been watching her the whole time, approached her cautiously and was then followed by his sister, Sakara. Jody's heart skipped a beat. These beasts were even more colossal than the wolf she had just freed. Then something inside her told her to sit down in the snow in a non-threatening posture and wait for them to come to her. But as they drew nearer, the female wolf took the lead and did something nobody expected. Unusual Behavior The she-wolf, Sakara, very slowly lowered her face to Jody's. Then she sniffed her. Suddenly her great pink tongue darted out of her mouth as she leaned unnervingly close to Jody. Soon, after the rest of the pack, led by Kakoa, followed his sister's lead to inspect the new human, sitting absolutely still in the snow. Now, Sakara was almost on top of her. Too close for comfort. Sakara began to lick her face, but Jody knew that she had to remain absolutely still and let her do whatever she wanted. One wrong move could prove to be the biggest mistake she'd ever make. The wolf's teeth grazed her neck as Jody tried to move her head upward, away from Sakara's intense gaze. Was she thanking her? Getting out of hand. As if taking their cue from Sakara, the other wolves, and Kakoa, the largest of the three, began to sniff Jody and paw her with their massive claws. Growing bolder by the minute, they snapped at each other, as if each wolf was fighting for the right to be the first to inspect this new intruder who had rescued one of their kind. 
They jumped on Jody's back and snarled, but she had to keep her composure, even though her fear threatened to engulf her. Gentle Giant Kokoa also proceeded to lick Jody's face, although much more thoroughly than his sister. Then the massive wolf rolled over onto his back in a display of complete submission and trust. Jody was taken aback, but then it dawned on her exactly what he wanted. He wanted belly scratches, just like a pet dog. Second Encounter After the encounter, her supervisor and the rest of the people at the center decided they wanted Jody to search the park for snares and socialize with the wolves every day. They had plans to send Jody back into the woods the very next day to see if she'd be so lucky a second time. Jody made her way back to the woods the very next day, and everyone was excited to see what happened. Amazingly, the volunteer was accepted into the pack instantly. Part of the Pack I've always had a passion for nature and animals, Jody revealed on the center's website. These wolves have my heart, and I'm honored to have been accepted into their pack. Since meeting Joey, Kokoa loves to greet visitors with wolf kisses, the center said on its website. A Deep Bond Please spread the smiles by sharing these adorable best friends with your friends.